Well, the rain is beginning to push in right now. You'll notice from the system right behind me, it is coming in from the southwest, and, and that is going to bring us more rain as we head into the evening. And you'll also notice right off to our south and east, Severe watch boxes down into the mitten and even as you go down into Indian uh, Indiana, but for us just mostly rain, maybe some thunderstorms possible for us, but the severe activity looks to be mostly to our south as we head into the evening, but we will seem to see some heavy rainfall and this will continue even throughout the night into early tomorrow morning before a lot of this does begin to taper off as we head into tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. We should be mostly clear with temperatures maybe a little cooler for us falling back into the 40s for overnight lows, so drier air will be arriving as well, so not as much as that seeing that humidity currently at 61 degrees winds coming out of the northeast at 9 miles per hour, but a lot of clouds and rain on the increase for us. And here a look at your temperatures right now at 61 in Marquette and farther off to the west, uh, seeing more of the 60s in Ontonagon at 60 degrees, only at 55 in Ironwood and farther to the south here in Florence at 73, 73 also in Menominee and uh, quite a widespread of temperatures as you go farther off to the east as well. 55 in Munising, 61 in Escanaba, while at 61 in Ishpeming and at 73 in Iron Mountain. Your current winds coming in from the north and home at 10, no, but from the southwest in Marquette at 9, and north at 5 in Iron Mountain, 8 from the southwest in Munising, and at 8 from the northeast in Ironwood. So winds all over the place. But by tomorrow afternoon, we should start to see more of a uniformity with our wind direction and coming in from the northwest, which is really going to dry all of us out as we head into the evening and the overnight hours on tomorrow. But here are a look at your temperatures across the state, 60s and 50s across the UP, even a few 70s for us closer to Iron Mountain, 80s all across the lower peninsula. And because of all that heat, they do have a lot more energy to play with for thunderstorm activity. So that's why they do have currently a severe thunderstorm watch for them. But here's a look at our headlines. Rain increases as we head into the evening. Isolated showers and thunderstorms by tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. That should all really begin to taper off for us. And we'll get a break from the rain by Thursday. It looks like we do have a dry day, at least for one day at least, before things pick up again Friday and even maybe seeing some early Saturday morning, but it does look like most of it will be out of here. So for us in central, maybe western UP, seeing mostly sunny skies as the system that will impact, impact us on Friday moving out of here. But here's a look at our setup right now. Area of low pressure working its way off to the east. Very warm air still off to our west. Not really going to see a huge cool off from this. Just some, some drier air in place and temperatures will still be in the 70s for highs even as we go into our Thursday. But not going to be noticing any of the rain that should be out of here and for your forecast tomorrow. Here comes the rain beginning to push its way off to the east and they'll be uh, dealing with it more while us maybe a few showers and thunderstorms early tomorrow morning before seeing more of that clearer sky. But your pollen forecast here it is not too bad for us on tomorrow with the rain that will be in place for us, but really picks up once again as we head into Thursday dry sunny skies leading way to a high pollen forecast for us there and Friday and still moderately to high as we go into our Friday, but uh, hey, as we go into Friday evening, starting to see more of that rain, so that should start to push back down as we get into uh, the weekend. Your future cast model tonight, noticing rain coming in, periods of heavy rain, so definitely have that umbrella wind with you if you're heading out tonight and even tomorrow morning as we'll see some of that rain still in place. Uh, maybe a few light showers as we head into tomorrow afternoon, but generally we should be dry, seeing more of the drier conditions as we go into our afternoon on Thursday before Friday. Here's our next system that will be impacting us with rain once again and pushing through going into Friday night. Tonight will be at 51 degrees, pockets of heavy rain, winds very light for us and for us on Wednesday. Heavy rain early, but then seeing more of those clear skies as we go later on into the day. Winds shifting out of the northwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour. And all those temperatures will be warm, 74 degrees in Launce, 79 in Ontonagon, 79 in Crystal Falls. It won't be quite as humid for us, so the dew point really dropping off. 71 in Marquette, while at 67 in Munising and at 69 in Escanaba. Your bus stop forecast we will be looking out for a few thunderstorms tomorrow morning. 51 degrees winds out of the west at 5 to 15 miles per hour and your seven day forecast a high of 71 on Wednesday 72 for us on Thursday, but seeing more of that cool off by Friday with that cold front that will be entering with thunderstorms and rain only in the upper 60s there under all the clouds. But look at the huge cool off heading into Saturday 47 degrees lows dropping back into the 30s and seeing another cool day on Sunday.